Hi, I'm Kieran Taylor with CA Technologies. Continuous innovation is now a business requirement. App release cycles are measured in days, not weeks or months, and change is constant. That's why so many companies have turned to DevOps and Agile methodologies to compete more effectively. However, these methods run counter traditional to IT operations, whose DNA is all about assurance, not agility. And when operations doesn't adapt, it can find itself a victim of shadow ops, where development teams take on app deployment and management. What does shadow ops look like? For starters, it's when development focuses solely on application performance, shipping code directly to the cloud, and bypassing infrastructure performance verifications instilled by ops teams. This is short-sighted because development doesn't leverage the significant expertise operations brings to the table. It also incurs a huge opportunity cost. If developers are focused on maintaining app stability, they're not writing code. Additionally, when shadow ops happens, the development teams will use different management tools. Whether open source or packaged software, it's not uncommon for a typical organization to have upwards of 30 tools. Each one requires more support, education, and training. And you can't be efficient when you can't share data across tools and teams. In short, better software gets delivered faster when operations teams are involved in the development processes. So here's how to keep shadow ops from creeping into your organization. First, involve development and senior executive management early on. Make a business case that shows the negative consequences of duplicated effort and inefficiencies. Also, build operations needs into agile development practices. This may mean embedding monitoring into the app during development, or implementing stand-ups and Kanban meetings. You see, in DevOps, the role of operations isn't to impede development, but to work collaboratively to ensure that modern cloud architectures and applications future-proof the business. This means monitoring must evolve and scale with a unified approach that collects, correlates, and analyzes data from a variety of sources to speed mean time to resolution of problems, prioritized by program and business objectives. This will also help operations lower costs by reducing the need for specialist training, as well as maintenance burdens around managing so many discrete tools. IT operations will also improve how their skills and tools are applied. Rather than wait for problems in production and be singularly focused on availability, these new agile ops teams will work with others to ensure that quality is established into applications as they're developed and tested. This makes perfect sense when you consider that the cost of fixing defects in development and test is 15 times lower than in production. But crafting quality into applications requires modern application performance management approaches. Rather than adopt break-fix tools, IT operations will work with tools that provide early warning on architecture and code-related issues that impact customer experience, reduce developer productivity, and increase costs well before the system goes live. In addition, agile operations means that performance monitoring will be supplemented with predictive analytics that not only highlight emerging performance problems, but also help other teams understand how new application functions are driving increased customer engagement and profitability. In this way, the role of IT operations will grow from managing technology outputs to delivering business outcomes and maximize value by combining the best in infrastructure and applications. I thank you for watching and I hope you found this overview helpful.